Hello, everybody. Welcome to a, what I'm going to be calling an experimental uh, playthrough on the channel. I'm going to be playing some FS22. This is a game that I play every once in a while, just as kind of a game where I can just turn my brain off and relax. I'm like, you know what? I'll test the waters with this on the channel. I'll just, I'll get a little playthrough going of it. I'll record a few episodes. If it does well, I'll continue it. If it doesn't do well, then it'll just be kind of a, a little one-off series, if you will. But we're going to be playing the Western Wilds. And I made a race car driver, dude. It looks pretty cool to me. But anyways, the thing about this map is that it is almost completely barren. Like, there's no development anywhere. You have, like, kind of a farm state here. You have the the stores up here and whatnot. But you gotta make your own fields. You gotta build your own production areas. Except the biogas plant. That's right there, I think. But, yeah, there's the basics here. But for the most part, you gotta do it all yourself. But yeah, I am going to be trying to make a, a nice little cattle operation. Because I see a lot of feedlots around and I work with them every once in a while for my job here in real life. And I was like, you know what, let me try to, let me try to make something. Let's see what I can make in here. So yeah, so what it's going to be, I'm going to go for a couple properties here. I think eight and nine, probably because they're pretty barren. I don't want something with a lot of trees on it. So we're going to go here. Yeah, they're all fairly cheap land. All 85 or 79,000. But we'll pick these two up. One is going to be mostly for the development of the feedlot itself. The other one is going to be for the field. So we're going to need a lot of hay. At least at some point we will... I want something, yeah, this one can have a front load attachment. I think that's what this, yeah, okay, yeah, because it's got the hitch on here. Okay, obviously I gotta go with America. Wheel design, like wide tires and wheel weights, it'll make compacting a lot easier. Is 250? That's not terrible. No, we don't need we don't need a plate. Buy that. And we'll go. Hopefully I picked the right one. I think it's this one. Let me just lease it first. We'll see if it fits. If it fits, I'll buy it. If not, then I only lost 790. Oh. Hey, look at that. It fits. Awesome. So we'll go here. Return it. The 700 M it was. So we go here. This time we'll just buy it. Then we're going to want... Uh, a bale spike, I believe. Pallet fork also. We'll just do a pallet fork for now. That'll get us by for a little bit. This is going to be the main machine we use for everything. We got to start off relatively small because the funds are kind of tight here in the beginning. We'll pick this up. Next, we're going to go... So I have some mods installed, and one of them involves a field creator. Yeah, this guy. You can just use to create fields. So we're going to be picking this up. I'm just going to... Ooh, no. What color do we want? Silver? Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, how much does it cost to lease? It's cheap. Okay, yeah. We're, we're actually just going to lease it, because we're probably just going to only have these two properties for a little while. So we're going to take this to the property and we're just going to till it all up and then I'll get the layout of where the pens are going to go and where like the field is going to be. So it's all just going to be prepped for seed bed and then I'll figure out what I want to do with everything after that. So. 
I'm going to pause. I could do a time lapse, but there isn't really anything to see with just cultivating. So I'm just going to pause for now. Yeah, see, it's all open. All open. All right, I want to pause. And I will be back once everything is tilled up. Okay, it took a little over an hour, but we finally got fields eight and nine merged into one. And this is what it looks like. It's just one big dirt pile now. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna have this. I'm gonna, I left the tree because I want to use that as a marker. So everything south of the tree here is gonna be the field and everything north of it is going to be pasture and silage bunk and whatnot. So what I need to do is find this. We don't need this anymore. Get rid of that. Then we're gonna go and get a weeder. I'm gonna go with this just because it can also plant grass and that's all I really need it to do. Uh, I turned weeds off. I don't like playing with weeds or field stones and all that. The game makes it really, really tedious. Like more tedious than it needs to be. So I usually just play with it off. I have a uh, seed refill for the hired hand set to buy. So he's just gonna keep himself stocked up and I'm just gonna hire one to just plant the field while I get started on placing the pastures. Cause I have a pasture mod installed. It gives just a blank pasture that holds 60 head of cattle and it's relatively cheap. I think it's like 9,500 at base because the game like changes how much things cost based on like terrain stuff it has to do. Can I go through this? Yoink. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. That answers that. I didn't feel like going around. Shit takes too long. I also need some seed. We just won. There we go. I'm, I decided to go with a weeder instead of just a traditional planter just because this was way cheaper to rent. And it's not too much smaller. There. And we'll go around for this. But yeah, we're going to have just... I considered having multiple littler fields take up the same area, but I was like, nah, that's not really necessary at this point. So we're just gonna go with one big field and we can take bales from it or just silage it based on what we need. We're not going to get uh, cattle right away because I want to get some silage in the bunker first, just so we have something to feed them. So while this guy is going on the planting the field we're gonna get the pens and bunker placed and then start purchasing the other equipment we need so hopefully by then he'll be close to done we can carry on so let's get him just right here and hire that no no field I gotta do it myself here for a second. There. Now will you go? Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Out of his way. Yeah, we're gonna need to roll that also. Okay. Let's get into the fun stuff. You can see us standing there. So yeah, this is the cow pasture mod. It's it's a, it's a decent size. We're gonna line them across the top here. Try to get them relatively straight. Kinda. What are you overlapping with? Yeah, that'll work. There. We'll go a few of them. Should get them relatively lined up. Mm -hmm. 
That. I'll do one more. That. Perfect. These will be the starting pastures. Next thing I want to do. Let's go to tools. Nope. Container. It's got to be in here. Yeah, container. So we're going to go with the watering pack and we're going to put a hydrant. It's close to every trough that I can. I wish I could move them closer. I don't know why they have to have so much room between them. Right there. There's one. And there's two. And the reason I'm doing this is so when I take the water tank a trailer, I can just back it right up to the trough and have it sit right between the hydrant and the trough so I don't have to be making constant round trips. So that's going to do that. Where's our helper friend at? Okay, he's still on first round. Okay. Next, we need a silage bunker. Oh, there's silos, aren't they? Yeah, here they are. I'm just gonna go with this one. I think we'll be fine for one. Wants to turn, there we go. Put it. There. How far back can I go? there that'll work I don't need two just yet I'd like to have two at one point but I think I can get away with one for now what else do we need no we don't need any of those I think that's fine for now no we don't need any of that oh gosh it's far away Okay, so equipment. First thing we need. I want one of these. Tier capacity 17. And it can pull silage in so I don't need a, a front loader attachment. It's a difference. 17 to 26. Yeah, that's not that bad. It'll work. Yeah, so all we'd have to do is just drop hay bales into it. So that will be first. Oh. So grab this and bring it back. I've never used one of these before, so it might be a learning curve for me to figure it out bring it back. I'm not going to go for any like sheds or buildings or whatnot because I just want to make sure that we get all the proper equipment so I don't have to go really small on anything because this is going to be a big pasture that we're taking or that we're going to be growing. I mean it shouldn't take too long to plant but yeah we're going to plant right up to that tree in the middle of the field and we'll have all that extra room there to work with. I don't think we'll be able to fit more pastures on the other side a bit but you know it'll probably work out so we'll see i don't really have a place to leave these so i'll just leave them out in the open here there that'll work okay what else mowers no we're not gonna we're gonna pass on this it's too expensive right now Not all that, okay. Implements, we're gonna rent a roller for when the field's finished planting. So I don't need to worry about that. Let's see, just going down the list here. Don't need a roller yet. 
Mower. What do we have? That's 12, 3, that's 10. Yeah, no, we'll just go with these for now. They're not that much smaller and they're way cheaper. There's those. Wrestling care, we're fine. Weeders are fine. Teeters, yeah, we want this guy. The biggest one we can, because apparently you need that for hay in this game. Wind rower. It's the biggest one. 14.7 or 5. Yeah, we'll go with the 14.7. All that, yeah, 28 extra grand for only 0.3 meters more. It's not worth it. Forge wagon. God, I can never remember what this thing pulls. 305. I pull. Ooh, we can pull you. Because this is going to be used to collect hay and grass for silage, so kind of want something good. So that. Balers. Do you have anything on sale? No. I think I'm going to hold off on a baler for now. Then we want a water tank. Let's go with this little one. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. I'd like to have some of these for silage, but we can wait on those for now. Okay. So that's the end of that. Now we just need to wait for this guy to finish. Then we'll roll the field. Wait for the grass to come in. So yeah, I'm going to pause. And then we'll be back when he's done and the grass is started to grow. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright. This is what I was talking about with the, with the water system and the hydrant. So you just sit in right in between the hydrant and the trough and you can just keep refilling them. So you refill and then you dump it into the trough and then you can refill and dump it into the trough. I picked up this little tractor here for like 89 grand I think it was. Just nice to have something else that can go around. Like this thing can also windrow and use the teeter or tether, whatever. So it's nice to just have another thing to use while an employee's out doing something but yeah this is the trick I'm just going around filling all the troughs now so I don't have to later I think the troughs all hold 24,000 liters of water wait till this one fills and also it's free water pretty good mod yes it's 22,000 see where it stops at Yeah, 24,000. So now we just pull up the next one. This is uh, why I don't need a very big water tank. Just because I can just sit between the two troughs. So ideally, as the feedlot expands, there's going to be another s a row of pastures on the other side of the hydrant. So when you fill up one trough, you just circle around and head back the other way, doing the same trick. So that way, you don't put a water tank on one corner of the property, and then have to be making so many trips back and forth. We can just do it like this, where each pen has its own personal pump. That's how I do it, at least. It's, it works for me. It saves a lot of time, though, uh, also. And our helper friend is just chugging along. Taking a sweet time. We're gonna need a roll. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty big pasture. But yeah, that's just all it is. I gotta make sure I... Like, I think it's only gonna cost like 60-something thousand to put cows in all three pastures. It's not too expensive, but I wanna make sure I have money to get a baler just in case I need one. I probably will. But I'm just gonna hold out and hope that I can find one on sale. Whether it be a round bale or a square. 
something. But what I'm kind of hoping for also is that I can just pick up the hay with the forage wagon, like dump it somewhere just off to the side here, and then just use the the feeder truck to pick it up from there so I don't need to shred bales. Oh, and also I use this tractor to bring over all the implements. This is just kind of the lot right here. This is all the nice little setup. I don't need any like buildings or anything. They can just all sit here. But yeah, this tractor is going to be able to pull the tether and the windrower and the water tank. So it's going to be pretty helpful once mowing season comes. That's the nice thing about grass in this game. You can cut it year round. You don't have to wait for a specific season. This guy, he's almost there. I checked also and this tractor is not strong enough to pull a, a roller. So we're going to need to wait for the John Deere to pull it. Actually, can this thing pull the weeder? It cannot. This thing wants 170. This one only has 135. But yeah. Alright, I'm going to pause until the planting's done this time. Alright. I decided to speed things along a little bit. I rented a roller in this big old tractor. And we're, I'm just gonna roll it right now. By some time, the helper is almost done planting, it looks like. But, I mean, we're doing well on funds, so I didn't think this would be too big of a deal. You know, it can't raise, okay. I better make sure he doesn't... Okay, yeah, no, he's got room. Okay. Well, it looked like he was coming up to hitting the tree, but he's got at least another pass on it and a half on him. I'll see where he's at on when he comes back. He had plenty of room, though. It's kind of doing something. Yeah, okay. Because I tried, uh, I did a test of grass growing in, in a different save, and you can't roll grass when it's already growing. But it doesn't die, so you just kind of have to go with this, I guess, where you just roll before it sprouts out of the ground. Yeah, I'm going to do a montage and speed this up. So, yeah, cue the gamer montage. Okay, well that's all planted now, so we can get rid of this. Turn that, there we go. So now you can come back here and be ready to go for mowing. We're gonna flip the pallet for it, we'll just stick it right here, I guess. Kind of out of the way. What do you mean? I don't get what that's all about. Do I have to get rid of you first? No, hold up. Okay, what am I doing? There we go. I reattach the pallet fork. Yeah, I just had to lower it. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. So 
get it hooked up to its mowers. Oh, it doesn't have the front attachment. Uh oh. Huh. Okay, so it was either a three point hitch or the front loader attachment. So we're going to change this one to a three point. Get that. And then this guy already has the hitch ability on it. At least I thought it did. Maybe I didn't get it on it. Maybe I forgot. Either way, this one will probably be our front loader then. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Kind of a waste of money. I totally slipped my mind when it came to... Actually, I probably didn't need to sell that, but whatever. So let's... How are you doing? You're doing good. So let's bring you back now. I'm glad I got the second tractor that also could have the hitch attachment. Let's just hop this fence, this ramp. Very realistic. Look at a fucking razor, dude. Look at that dude in there. Oh. Hitting shit. Look at him, he looks so stupid in there. Oh, the characters they create sometimes. Yeah, I can't remember if... I thought I put the hitch attachment on the other tractor, but maybe not. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Because I shouldn't have to be loading any bales, assuming I can just store hay on the ground and not have to bale it. So I'm going to hold off, actually, on the hitch attachment for the other tractor. This dude's just chugging away very slowly. So I'm gonna leave it on that and yeah, cue the montage again. All right, that went well. Now that that's done with, we can get rid of these two. I'm not gonna worry about spraying the grass just cause it takes too long to keep up with it and I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, now we can let the grass grow. We're gonna speed this up a bit. So I'm gonna pause while this grows but I'm also going to keep an eye on specials to see if like a baler comes up for cheap or something like that. So I'll be right back. Pasture's growing. Big ass field. And also I went and I put some lights in over the pasture. It's gonna, this is gonna be a big pasture. I hope it's able to keep up with all the cattle we're about to bring in. I guess we can do that now. I want to see the place with the lights on. I kind of like it. So that way at night you can always see what your cattle are up to. And also they fit nicely in between the 
Extinguishers. Yeah, see, there they all come on. And then we have one over the feed, over the silage pit. See, it's all nice and lit up. Now we just, I believe it takes three months for the grass to grow. Just keep this guy right here. Actually, I'm gonna have this one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, if this one's gonna windrow, because I'm not gonna put this one to hay. I'm just gonna put it to grass and then silage it. That's that's my plan first. So we'll just get everything ready, I guess. And then it just suddenly stops raining. $180 for property maintenance. It's nothing but dirt and grass. So we'll save him right there. Is it? Okay, it's just really slow to lower. We'll get you all unfolded. And just get you ready to go. So yeah, November it'll be ready to go. I'm gonna have a an employee do the mowing, and then I'll follow behind him with the windrower. So yeah, he's ready to go. Oh wait, it's all ready to go? Oh. Look at that. Guess I'll do it right now then. Let it brighten up a little bit. I didn't think it was ready to go already. Huh. I'm gonna give it one more day. This looks just a little short to me. Yeah, I'm gonna pause, give it one more day, and see if it changes. Yep, it changed again. I knew there was one more phase after this. Alright. Let it brighten up a bit. Then we will get the AI going on mowing, and then I will go and get cows to give them kind of a head start. And then we'll fall behind them and start windrowing. Actually, he's going to need a pretty good head start because I have a pretty wide windrower. That's alright. But like I said, everything here is going to be going to silage. So we don't need to bale anything yet. Also, I never saw anything come up. Especially, I mean, we got this guy, but this is actually pretty tempting. I don't know. We'll be fine, I think. Come on. Come on, clouds. There it goes. That brighten up so I can see where the hell this guy's gonna be at. We will slow it down and begin. Yeah, this will work. All right. And get him going. Cool, he's off. Now, while he does that, we'll get cows. Oh, over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's between Angus and Lumazine. These two are dairy. I don't think there's a like any rhyme or reason to it. I wish there were more. So yeah, we're just going to go with all 60. Yep, 21 grand. Cows. Thankfully, water's free for some reason, probably thanks to the mod.
Get more here. So we're gonna get a 180 head. I mean, if I really wanted to, I can just take this grass and feed it directly to them. My gosh, look at all of them. So that way they start maturing a little bit, and the grass will last them a little bit. But... Oh yeah, we need... We need this guy to really get some... Get a head start on us. Yeah, he's gonna miss some on the edges here, but... I mean, it's alright. Not the end of the world. How fast is he going? 14? That's pretty good. What am I gonna be able to go with this? Just kinda test it out up here. Nine. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna be putting ground on me. I'm not gonna be able to catch him like this, which is great. That's the way it should be. So we'll let him get a good lead, and then we'll follow right behind him. Stay out of his way. And then when he's done mowing, he'll follow behind me with the forage wagon. So I think... Are these cows taking water? Does not appear to be. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, though. Yeah, okay, now we're good to follow him. We're gonna let him get started on his other row first. I'm pretty sure this is gonna take both... Uh, it's not gonna quite take both rows that he made. Let me get going. Yeah, it's gonna be just short. Alright. Let's cue the montage. That's it. Sure, it took a while. Actually, that didn't take very long at all. But now we can finally start picking up food for the cows. So we're gonna move this guy back to the lot here, real quick. Get him hooked up to the trailer. Forage wagon, that's what I'm looking for these here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this grass into silage and then the next harvest or the next mowing is gonna go to hay and then we'll be able to start feeding cows if for some reason we fill that silage bunker which there's no way in hell we will 
then I'll start feeding a pen for the cattle. I'm pretty sure I could uh, completely fill all of their feed troughs with the grass, but I feel like they would start aging and be underweight by the time they hit maturity. I'm not entirely sure how cattle work in this game. I've only done a brief run through, so I'm not 100% sure. As far as the wind rower, I can't believe this theme would... I guess it isn't that surprising that it caught up to the mower, just because of how wide this thing is compared to how not wide the mower is. But still, I it didn't have to wait too long just because the mower was moving pretty quick. So this is going to be 13 lines. I think pretty, yeah, 13 lines. So yeah, we're going to get quite a bit of silage out of this. But we're going to do that in the next episode. Next episode, we will pick up the, he the grass and put it into silage. And then we'll start feeding cattle with the second mowing. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this series is going to be. If you like this and you want to see more of this series, because I'm going to keep playing this save regardless. It's just a matter if I record it or not. So if you like this and you want to see more, like and subscribe and comment. Just so it tells me through channel statistics that people enjoy this video. But, yeah. Apart from that, thank you everybody for watching. And we will pick this up in the next episode. So until then, bye for now everybody.